Good morning guys, welcome back to relatively chilly Katoomba after what well, was a pretty shocking night's sleep. Uh, woke up like four times and then just couldn't get back to sleep at like four o'clock. So yeah, up, I mean got up, got ready and now gonna get morning coffee and then probably head to Scenic World today and the Three Sisters. Just gives my, gives my legs a bit of a rest and prepare for a bigger hike tomorrow. But yeah, coffee time. This does not feel right. It's, what time is it? It's eight o'clock and there's nothing. Like, it's empty. Yeah. Let's hope I can find a cafe that's open. It should be. I'm going to for Wednesday to Sunday. Alright, so that was a pretty good coffee. It only took me, what, half an hour to find one. Uh, but yeah. Now, just gonna walk down to Echo Point slash the Three Sisters, so it should be, should be pretty cool. All right, so, halfway to Scenic World. Um, but when we get to Scenic World, gonna take you on this, I think it's the scenic cableway. It's 200 meters above the, the valley floor below. And I think we get to see Katoomba Falls from it. Then there's also the, I think it's called the railway. Uh, it's the steepest railway in the world, uh, of its type in the world. And I uh, might also do giant staircase, which is I think 998 stairs to either the bottom or the top of the valley. Um, I don't know why they couldn't do a thousand stairs. Nice round number, but 998 is not too bad.
strokes well into the chairs of Bain, just written on the wheels of Stevens to the railway. When the train stops and the doors open, oh, you get yeah, to the top of the stairs, turn left over that little bridge, which on the 10 and then you walk down towards the cableway station. That way down there, you're going to find stairs leading deeper into the rainforest on the long bit of the other two deep minute walks as well. When you're down here today, remember it is a World Heritage Area, so do take good care of the place. Don't leave any rubbish behind, put it in the bins or take it away. Remember as well, no smoking at all or vaping while you're here in the rainforest, please. So thanks for joining everybody. I will ask everyone to step off the train, exit the sport bridge. If you want to come back on the railway, just walk away into the entry side, please. Otherwise, walk on the train to the train. Thanks for joining, folks. Thank you. Alrighty, so rather than staying in scenic world, gonna do a bit of a loop um, and go up. I think they're, it's Ferber stairs, um, which is outside National Park, but look at that. Three sisters right there. And I'd say it's a better view than from scenic world. So yeah, bit of an adventure, bit of a walk, which will be fun. And then scenic railway back and then explore. disappointing um, I mustn't have read the trail closures because the trail I was gonna do is, as you can see is closed and the other staircase is also closed so that's a bit frustrating because I really wanted to do the staircases one at least one of the staircases but now you don't have to walk back to Scenic World, which is fine. Like it was only 500 meters, but it's a bit frustrating that it didn't say it earlier. Um, but oh well, we'll see what exploration I can do. Do back at the other base. But yeah, a bit frustrating, but I guess we move. At least it's really nice in here and I'm the only one down here. So I guess that's a positive. There's another lyre bird. I don't know if you can see it, but it's down there. This must be like the perfect time to see lyre birds. Wow, that's three in two days. Incredible. I'll change my statement. It's not for urban stairs that's closed. It's the giant staircase, which I can't access from here. So just gonna find a different hike to do, which I mean, it's frustrating, but it just means I have to come back here again. <laughs> Which, I'm never going to pass up the opportunity to come back here again. Happy day. Unfortunately, I have to do the tourist thing, the boardwalk, because literally both ways. So let me let me think. Both north and south, I think directions are. They're both closed because of landslides due to all the rain that they've had, which is unfortunate. But not much I can do, and not much they can do. Let's just hope they open at some point again. So I can do Ruined Castle, Giant Staircase, Golden Staircase, um, Mount Solitary I think is closed as well, which is really unfortunate, but not much, again, as I said, not much they can do. Still, pretty cool walk, nice and cool, 
everyone's dressed up like it's freezing cold and then I'm just wearing a thin fleece jumper whereas people have got down jackets, insulated pants which is pretty funny but yeah let's keep going Bit of a handy hint uh, for if you come here. Don't stay up the top of these little boardwalks. Walk right down to the bottom. And there's no one here. It's lovely. No tourists, no locals, no nothing. And I'd say even more, even better views. Like, have a look at this. Epic views. And means it's just a fair bit more peaceful because up the top everyone's cooing and just making a racket which I mean I understand it's a lot of kids but yeah it's nice and peaceful down here which is fantastic As we make a 220 meter journey back to the top, making us the southern hemisphere's steepest aerial cable car. As we pass over the rainforest and we have a look at our giants and guys, which is the other two banks there, the Skyway and Railway Stations, right in front of us, we're going to go from the other rise of the
hanging swamps further up the mountain. But if you go and see Okay, so the hike that I wanted to do that's closed. Another one that I wanted to do is narrow neck, so it's along there. And then over there, I don't know if you can see through the trees, Mount Solitary. I really wanted to do Mount Solitary, but I think that's that could be a good overnight hike once it's reopened. But yeah, uh, just walking to Echo Point slash the Three Sisters, grab some lunch, and then I don't know if I'll head back to Scenic World, because um, I, I did all three of the, the, tra the railway slash cable cars. And then yeah, we'll see what the rest of the day holds. Okay, almost made it to Echo Point. Probably one of the two most touristy parts of Blue Mountains just because it's where you see the Three Sisters from. Still pretty cool. It's just going to be very busy so I thought I'd chat to you before we get to it. So keep in mind, it's this busy on a Monday, random Monday, in the middle of winter. So imagine what it's like during the middle of summer on a weekend. It'd be hectic. I think it was hectic when we came and it was during the week during the summer. But yeah, well, it's good to be here. <laughs> the so all done at the Three Sisters and Echo Point. Now just walking back into Katoomba. Um, it's getting a bit chilly now, which I think the winds has picked up and I was used to it being so still. Um, but yeah, lunch took 50 minutes for a salad, so that took forever, which it shouldn't. A salad should not take 50 minutes, but not much you can do about it. Um, but yeah, heading back to the hostel, gonna put a bigger jacket on and then go have a look at the outdoor shops. Um, I've got to pick up my birthday present from my mum. I get to pick it, part of it. So I'll have a look and see what I can get. And then we'll uh, try and catch a sunset later on today. Okay, sunset mission time. Uh, 12 minute drive from um, Katoomba to Sublime Point. Um, the price was also sublime to park there. Ten dollars for an hour at this random viewpoint. Like that's mad. <laughs> and then they charged me a transaction fee because that's what always happens. Um, but yeah, hopefully the sunset doesn't disappoint. There's already a bit of cloud in the, the gut into the in the valley. So hopefully the sunset doesn't disappoint the app that I use to kind of make a decision said it was going to be a good one so let's hope so and let's hope the view is pretty good
don't think you can see me, but that sunset, pretty, pretty good, epic spot. Um, I don't think the time lapse captured the last bit of the sunset, but still got a decent one. Might try and get one tomorrow or a sunrise. I'm not too sure, but yeah. Just the accessibility here is pretty epic. Apart from the fact that it's $10. Like in Canberra, I don't think there's anywhere, any like viewpoint that costs money. So, I mean, you'd hope that the money goes into fixing trails and things like that, but yeah. Oh, pretty epic. Heading back to the car and then head back into Katoomba and probably grab some dinner. What a day. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a long one, long vlog. Um, I think tomorrow morning if I get up, which I've gone off yesterday, I will be up early. Um, we'll try and do two hikes, including the Grand Canyon and Hanging Rock. And then that's my time in the Blue Mountains done. Got one more night and then pick my brother up after his massive trip and then back home. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye.